Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil, not a hero. Resident Evil 7, not a hero, I should say. When we last left off, we grabbed our night vision device, and that leaves only one door left to be explored. Now, how many coins have we actually got? I am not convinced we're on track. We have six. Okay. Okay, we should be okay, I think. I think six is about... About right, more or less. Anyway, through the black door. What could possibly be through the back door? Oh, looks like we need night amplification. Oh my god. Um. Okay, I don't remember that. Chris, <laughs> I got bad news for you, buddy. I think we might need to be a little bit more careful. Right, let's have a little look in our box. Jiggle our junk around if we need to. Um, actually, guys, I have a feeling. I have a little feeling that we have forgotten a room. I have a horrible feeling that we have forgotten a room. And this is absolutely unacceptable. Right there, buddy. Oh no, of course you're not. You're dead. How could I forget? Um, and this is not the area we want to go in either. How silly of me. Or is it? Or is it? I'm fairly sure. Now, I was thinking this when I looked uh, back on the footage. I'm fairly sure we should have two lockpicks. But. I can't remember if we get the other lockpick later or if I've missed it. Um, with my damn gaming related dementia, it's hard to keep up. It really is. Alright, open the door, Chris. Come on. Right, we are back. Look alive. Beasties. I hope there are beasties in here. Oh, yeah, we really battered our ammo supply as well, didn't we? Oh, God, we got six cartridges for Odin. Odin is not happy. Oh, no. Odin hungers. Now, I have a feeling. Did I miss the lockpick here? Arse cakes. I didn't. Okay, I'm sure we should have. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Okay, game. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll let you off this once. I am sure... That we should. We can't go that way. It looks like you can go that way. But if we go that way, we get, like, murdered by all those machine guns. And you better believe me, that is not a good time. Um, hmm. I'm really puzzled about that lockpick, guys. I'm sure we had two. Or should have two. Maybe there is two later on. I don't know. Oh well, let's go back into the black and find out what the hell killed us. Is that me being too eager? It may have been. Oh. Pressure pad explosives. You know what, guys? The first time I played this, I didn't even see those. So that's kind of interesting. You sneaky bastard. And that should be coin number seven. Right, swap out our magazine. There we go. Odin is a little bit happier now. Oh boy. I don't remember all these. But as I said, I'm stupid, so that probably goes a long way to explain it. Aha! Well, 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 well. What do we have in here? Ramrods. Only two ramrods. But two is better than none, I suppose. Make every one of those little bastards count. Damn, I can't believe those traps. Huh. I must have come in here the first time with my eyes shut. Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not exactly the most observant person in the world. Ooh. And here we go. Point proven. Almost walked into that. Now, that would have been rather unpleasant for our friend Chris here. Probably would have been rather amusing for us. But Chris would not have enjoyed that. Ooh. I also... One thing about the um, light amplification. 
I wish that we could uh, use it at will. It's locked from the other side. Oh, well, we have some rather fragile looking wood here. Well, let's give it one of these. Yeah, there we go. As I said, Chris still has the strength. Oh, shit. That sounded like it was coming from behind me. Okay. Yeah, Chris still has the strength of a thousand men. Or is it millions? Hard to keep up sometimes. Such a burly hero. Of legendary status is our friend Christopher. Oh, well, looks like we're clear for now. So used to player on. Un Ooh. Player unknown. I wish we could uh, kind of peek around corners. That would be nice. And that's one thing I actually really like about. Ooh, med injector. Don't mind if I do. Uh, this Resident Evil in first person. Like, a lot, you know, I say a lot of people. Some people really didn't like it. But it works so well. And the game looks great. The weapons feel amazing. The uh, the reload animations and everything are so slick. It's very hard um, to be disappointed with this game. It might not be the Resident Evil game that we wanted. But I think it's the one that we needed. There we go. And it sure as hell puts Resident Evil back on the map. And if it's going to put my joint favourite franchise back on the map, I am very happy indeed. Now, what is through here? See, areas like this, for example, I wish I could turn on my night vision. But alas, I cannot. So, okay, that's looking good. Now, let's shift this crate of crap out of the way. There we go. Oh, no, it's in here. We've got, like, dolls. Well, I guess we're not going back that way. We've got, like, dolls. Um, dolls with spikes. If I could talk, that'd be fantastic. Uh, speakers for eyes. <gasps> Balloons. We can have super fun, happy time. Or maybe not. Okay. Thus ends the balloon fun. Come on. There you are, Chris. But, like, my point, okay, the weight of the animation. Ooh, there was more super fun happy time over there. Um, the weight of the animation and everything, it's so quality. It is absolute, uh, absolutely worthy of the AAA kind of title, I guess. I mean, Resident Evil 6 was never... Ooh. In a million years, a AAA Resident Evil uh, experience. Resident Evil 6 was a pure um, shitty, I don't know, just regurgitated pile of sludge. They tried so many different things and none of it worked. The graphics were terrible. Uh, and I'm not a graphics fan, okay? But when Gra uh, Resident Evil 5 looked so damn good, when you first saw Resident Evil 6, you're like, what the hell happened? Shotgun rounds, thank you. Yeah, Resident Evil 5, even to this day, is an amazing looking game. Absolutely top stuff. Resident Evil 6 just looks like ass. It's like, what the hell happened, guys? I mean, we did get the, the movement upgrade, which was quite nice. Uh, you know, you could uh, move and shoot and all that stuff for the first time. Number eight. But uh, the game was just a mess and the story was arsed as well. The story was complete garbage. And I actually quite like my Resident Evil stories. Hello, clown. Long time no see. Um, I'll be having that key off you, if you don't mind. Cheers. Gee, I hope monsters don't jump out at us. Oh, buddy. Nice try. Points for trying, my friend. Odin is not amused. But he thanks you for your soul. Hello. Oh, here's a tough one. Ow. That's not very nice. You shall die. Odin commands it. 
Oh, hey, bud. Oh, you are one of them horrible ones. Now, to ramrod or not to ramrod? Smoke them if you got them. You know, being killed by Chris is a vast honor, a great honor, a legendary honor. And for us to waste one of our ramrods on you, you should feel very privileged indeed. Oh. However, you, sir. You are not worthy of the honor. Here, let me give you something to remember me by. There you go. Okay. Well, we have a clown door. I wonder what key we could possibly need for this clown door. If you'd guessed the clown key, you'd be right. If you'd guessed the turkey key, well, we don't have a turkey key, so you'd be wrong. Now, oh, back in the black. Well, this is fancy, isn't it? Some kind of underground monorail. Ooh, don't break into song. Don't break into song. There we go. Ooh, you're lucky, guys. I, I suppressed that one for you. Almost went back to Springfield then. Ooh. Uh, now, who the devil has been putting all of the... I mean, honestly, Lucas, where did you get all this? Uh, all these explosive supplies from? I mean, I... Well... Well, that went poorly, didn't it? Not even sure how we triggered that. Our left ass cheek must have just grazed the, the, the laser. Lucas, I, I understand he has a lot of time on his hands, but seriously, the guy needs hey, to get a better you hobby. Okay? Hang on. I'm coming. Yeah, we're on the way, buddy. We're on the way. How many medi injectors do we have? Three. Okay, well. I was going to use one, but eh, I guess we don't need to use one. Well, this is safe, said no one. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, oof. 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 Almost swallowed that one. Uh, I would not advise it either. Swallowing shrapnel that has been accelerated by chemical explosives is not ideal. Ew. Some more pellets for our friend Odin. Oh, hard hats. Very generic hard hats. Um, now, we can say hello to our little buddy here. Um, however, if we do this, we will die. Let me demonstrate. Marquez? And I have no idea how long I've been recording for. What the? Uh oh. You could die now, Chris. Fuck. Uh oh. Use your friend's body Ooh, as a shield. Didn't really work. Did not work. Yeah, I found that out the hard way um, first time. So, hmm, kind of cool. Kind of a shitty move as well because there's no way to actually know about that. Hey, you okay? Oh, he's fine. Hang he's on. fine. I'm coming. He's just chilling out, mate. He's having a little bit of a sleepy. Yeah, it's been a hard day for him, to be fair. But that's okay. We, <laughs> yes. Good thing our gun can go through the lasers. Otherwise, that, my friends, would have been a little bit awkward, to say the least. We'd swap out our teeth for a load of shrapnel. Yeah, it could be a good look. Could be a good look. Kids these days, with all their fads and their memes, maybe shrapnel teeth is the next big thing. I mean, I doubt it, but uh, you never know. And if it is... You heard it here first, folks. Oh, six. Very nice. Right, let's flip this conveniently placed switch here. Haha, <coughs> -ha, foiled your plan, didn't I? Yes, how silly of you, Mr. Lucas, to um, use the local power for all of your explosives. 
Don't leave your comrade. I'm not trying to. I'm looking for loot. Now that we don't have to worry about tiptoeing. Oh, okay, it's automatic now. Tiptoeing around. Hey. Hey, you still with us? He's alright. Uh, yeah, it's you. Thanks. I was beginning to think we've been left behind. Uh, Umbrella operatives left behind? I Never. Think, I think we can get out this way. Uh, I hope we can, bud. Uh, uh, Luke is a fucking psycho. I'm not sure what's worse, him or those things. Uh, he's definitely worse. At least with those things, you know what you're dealing with. Up you go, buddy. Over here. We can get out up through there. Yeah, you've said that like seven times now. Oh dear. Well. Well, well, well. I'm getting real tired of playing games. Three men, Lucas. Three of my men dead because of you. This ends, and it ends now. Well, I don't think so. It's about to be four dead soldiers in a minute. You're going to fail, and you are going to die. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. Right, let's grab this. That's coin okay. number seven. Uh, no, number nine. Here. You got it. Don't let me down. Central Cavern it is. Okay. We're pretty much on point now with our coins. Let me turn my headset down because that is deafening. But here we are. We're playing... Ooh. And again, I did not see that. Uh, let's get back. There's the hit of the whole fruit. Oh, you guys are just normies. Well, if you're normies... That means you're fodder for Odin. Odin approves. Because why wouldn't he? Hey, bub. Pathetic. Next. Odin still hungers. Oh, dear. Okay, that was actually still quite effective. Thank you. Come again. Oh, let's just tiptoe around these. Up on your tippy toes now. There we go. We'll make a ballerina out of you yet, Chris. Ooh, hello. We're back Chris, here. Of course we are. Our video logs from the first unit show canisters of liquid nitrogen nearby. Excellent. You might be able to deactivate the bomb by freezing it. Where Sweet. are the canisters? The storage space in the mining work area. Go through okay. the red shutter door. Notice how we actually have extra coins. I always thought that was a bit strange. Because, as far as I'm aware, they are the only loot containers that we can actually unlock here. Anyway guys, my time recording device thing. Clock. Yes, yes, clock. Has actually uh, malfunctioned on me, so I have no idea how long I've been recording for. So, I'm going to end it here. So, when we come back, well, we're going to keep taking this bomb for a walk. You know, if Lucas actually put a proper bomb on us, you know, one of the instant detonation uh, doohickeys, his problem would be over. I guess he ran out of those. I guess he uh, filled the um, entire ground level with those bombs, and he only had one left, which was, unfortunately for him, a 10-minute time bomb. Uh, sadly for him, I have a little feeling, just between you and I, that that will be his undoing. Hmm. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.